So exercise number one is going to be the farmer squat. Obviously you're going to be pulling up here to this position and you're going to kind of step back a little bit. Your feet are going to be a little bit wider than hip width and you can be pushing the hips back just like a normal squat. Once you get down to this position here, you can tell you get a nice bit of hip action. So you're going to be pulling your hips back, deep squat, and then slightly thrust them forward to get a lot of activation in the gluteus maximus. You're going to get the quads, a little bit in the hamstrings, because you feel damn good. A lot of core activation too, to stabilize that. And since you're holding the weight too, your arms are going to be activated, your shoulders, a little bit in the tricep, and uh, there you go. So exercise number two is going to be the T-bar row. So just going to kind of step up here, nice wide stance. Now you can get a V-grip um, to kind of put on there. You can either do a towel as well if you don't have a V-grip, or you can just have your hands here. It's kind of grab here, get in this position, and row straight up. Now, as you can tell, the range of motion isn't that far as you're rowing, so you can put some 25 pound plates on there. A little bit farther range of motion, kind of take it right to the sternum, but you want to get a nice, sturdy, and stable position in the core, in the back. Get nice tense in there, and bring those elbows up, get a nice squeeze. Pretty simple. Just stepping up the bar here, you can go ahead and get on your knees. As you can tell, you're going to be fairly close to the edge of the barbell. And you can pull it up to the top position, which is going to be right at the clavicle here. Be gripping the end of the barbell with your hands and just going to be pressing straight up. Elbows pretty close. And nice rigid, tensed core, straight back. This position you're going to start with the shoulders back or more retracted and depressed. And then as you press upward, you're gonna get that kind of full extension and you're gonna slightly elevate your shoulders to help to get not only the chest, but a little bit in the shoulders too. So it's a really nice exercise. So the clavicular portion of the chest here, it's a little bit more difficult to build. There's less fibers located in the top portion of the chest as it is in the lower. So you really wanna pay close attention on doing these kind of exercises to help build that upper chest. Exercise number four is just going to be the press. Now, lighten the weight as you can tell, just that way. It's going to be too easy, just for the instructional purposes. This is going to be a one-arm press here. In the standing position, get a really wide stance, so that really increases the base support here. And, uh, and just going to be pressing straight up, right through the shoulder, just like so. tight in the beginning position and as you press you not only elevate slightly in the shoulder but the elbow is going to flare just a little bit as it kind of goes through that pressing motion there and then at that top position you're going to reach you're going to be here everything nice and tense stable bring it down and this is a unilateral exercise so once you get done with one side you're going to start with the next The good thing about a unilateral exercise like this is that if you're dealing with any asymmetrical problems in the body, specifically in this case, the shoulder, you'll be able to kind of key in on that and help fix it. And with this, really recommend starting with the side that is kind of lagging behind, or in my case, my right side is the dominant side, so it tends to run a little bit bigger. My bicep, my shoulder is a bit stronger. So start with your least dominant side, or weaker side, in this case my shoulder would be my left side here. You're gonna start with the left and then immediately go on to the right. And then once you get done with the right, you can go on to the left. So in this position, start with the left, go through the pressing motions, go whatever rep range that your program that you're following is kind of keen in on and says. And then once you get done with that, switch to the right, finish up with the right, and then go right back to the left, your weaker side, and bang out a few more repetitions. And then over time, as you do that, if you keep that up and you're consistent with it, your left side or your weaker side, depending on what it is, is gonna 
you know, get a little bit stronger and catch up with your dominant side. Number five on the Buff Dudes top five landmine exercises is gonna be the landmine 180s. Now, this is one of Duke's favorites, one he's been looking forward to, and is really gonna be working the core. There's a lot of twisting action involved here, so it's gonna be specifically kind of helping with building up a lot of strength. And not only the core, but specifically in this case, is gonna be the obliques and the transverse abdominis. So, if you've seen a lot of times in the Russian twist, when you're kind of sitting on the floor and you're bringing the weight from side to side, very similar action, but this in, in this exercise, you're in the standing position. So you're squatting down, picking up the weight, and you can have a straight arm here. We bring it down to one side like this. So now both arms straight, slight bend in the elbow on the opposite arm here, and then you're gonna be bring it to one side and then bring it to the next. So you're completing a 180 degree motion. There we go. Pretty simple. Now, that's our top five exercises for the landmine press, but there's a whole lot more you can do, and just have fun with it. Play with it. Play with what you want to try to experiment with what you want to try to do, and key in on any kind of issues that you really want to work on, specifically exercises that are going to help build the muscles you want to build. But, you know, a lot of people are going to say, well, you could just shove the barbell in the corner, which in some cases are true, and that's a good thing about these kind of exercises, is that you could, but in the landmine press, it makes it a little bit more versatile, because one, it's not going to tear up your house, in that sense, or and also too, you can kind of take it anywhere you want. Drill some holes in there, you can put it in your yard if you want to, or it just really makes everything a little bit more stable and ready to go. So Duke's gonna finish this video up by performing some 180 landmine presses or twists or 180 landmines. And uh, here we go, you ready Duke? Never personally done this exercise, so I'm gonna have to listen to the instructions. So I'm holding it here. So. Arm straight, press it up, kick to one side, like real big base support. What? Base support, your feet, real wide. Yep, good. There we go. And then this way. Kick it out, yep, arm straight, 180 degrees. A little bit straighter in the arms. Oh, yeah. This sucker is a really good exercise. It was no, a trick it's question, it's yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's gotcha. the most important gotcha. question. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't consider myself a tool. <laughs> You're a I big do tool. have a tool. <laughs> that buff mom appreciates. Oh, that. God. Okay, let's stop. <laughs>